Hello friends, I'm Dee about to react to this offensive TV. It is titled Celebrities Dragging Their Interviewers As They Should Drag These People Because They Be Playing Games With Y'all In Y'all Face And You Shouldn't Accept It. Let's watch. You do this and you're mean and you're that. You are not the one to interview a person who does humor. Sorry. Now, were you able to wear undergarments? You're like the fifth person that's asking well, that because it, so What is going on? <laughs> what? Since when did people start asking each other about the injuries about their underwear? Oh, oh my God. Is this who we are? Is this what we represent? Is it inappropriate? To ask somebody what kind of underpants they want? You sell out on oh. stage, uh, even with your fashion critiquing. While it's very mean in some ways, people it's can't not wait mean. To it's, hear not it's not mean. Really? It's not, it's not mean. mean. You can. It's not me. I tell the truth. I'm sure I say the same things that <laughs> all your viewers say to their friends sitting next to them on the couch. Probably, Winston mean, Churchill you know? said, if you make someone laugh, you give them a little vacation. <laughs> and maybe you take the worst thing in the world and make it funny. It's a vacation from a, for a minute from horror. Do you feel that you have anyone in a home? It's not a vacation. This is the people that you're talking about, though. It's bullying. <laughs> At that point. I repeat her though. The banks that you tried to take the money from. Ooh. I don't think they care. <laughs> That's all y'all mean. Would you like to get married again? You seem like the type of woman who still falls and can get as stupid as the rest of us girls. Do <laughs> you think I'm gullible? I think that you can be. Yeah. With the right man. Yeah, no. no. Not her not my girl. <laughs> I'm not you, used you get stupid. I'm not going to be stupid. And she meant that directly. I think it's amazing and I think it's great for them. There are not a million them, ways to lose weight. Why not do it through something that isn't as boring as working out? People hate on it because they want to do it. And the people who hate it on the most are the people who are secretly doing it or pissed off that they can't afford it. Hide the money, y'all! There's poor people around! <laughs> Are you a bit nervous? No, but I didn't really want to be here, so I was made to be here. So obviously I'm just like wanting to get this over with and get on with my life. This is a big inconvenience for me. You received a diamond from Charles. You received a diamond, and I'm not going to speak about that. Thank you very much. And I'm not here for that. Well, we've been told that you didn't help the prosecution sort of in this very important case. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Sexual references can it undermine the music because the sex sexual references? Uh, I'm not scared. Are you scared? No. Because <laughs> I'm not scared. No. Isn't you're not worried that they'll uh, just uh, pick out the sexual references if they're not scared about the music? Not at all. I've got three number one records and I've sold almost four million albums worldwide. <laughs> so what's the biggest thrill of your career so far? The gay community. Oh, wow. Why? Because they don't ask me questions like that. What are you looking for the next man? I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. My criminal appeal is still pending. It hasn't even been filed yet. I'm not responsible for how fast the system is moving. I'm well, so sorry. It's, so there is no appeal. So it's not pending, which would mean you filed. What do you mean there is no appeal? It's pending. Pending means that it's yes. filed and being processed. Don't it means? Um, after you receive a briefing schedule, which has not happened. Right, but you did file. Um, how familiar are you with the criminal justice system in New York? Too familiar. But you did file the appeal, yes? Too familiar? It doesn't sound like that. Ooh. Oh my god, it's not funny. <laughs> you have some shock value to you. I mean, you're on the cover of your book. You're wearing a fur, and you knew that there would probably be animal rights activists. You know, this whole interview has become a defensive interview. Why is she a lady? Are you wearing leather shoes? Yeah. Shut up. I'm just going on over and let you whack him. Get him again. Get him for me. 
you know, I'm going. I really am going because all you have done is negative. No. All you have done Mandy. is negative. I oh, wear a that was killed 15 years ago. I work for animal rights. Stop it with, and you do this, and you're mean, and you're that. You are not the one to interview a person who does humor. Sorry. Are you serious? I'm sitting here. I'm about to tear the f up because I'm not happy. I'm not happy that you would do this to my mother. So please help me welcome now in the camera. <laughs> hey, me like you were a mean hey. How you doing? It's so weird because it's so quiet. I know. How are uh, you? Thank you. Was, thank you. You said I had to ask you something. Do they try to make you look like me? Yeah, they really did with a little short black wig that you stuff. told me that. Yeah, yes. And then you got up, pushed me away, and said, yeah, I thought so. And you turned. I did. You went from the sweetest woman that was giving me vitamins to what's going on? To no, someone that someone terrified me on that trip. trip. Oh my god. And that was David. She was oh, no. like, so she's like, girl, I don't remember this bullshit. You said uh, something like, you'll never be me, don't ever think that you'll be me. And I said that. Oh. Yes, I, think? I can't think that's something. I'm not that, I'm very so much, in a, yeah, I'm very much, I know the person that I am, and I'm not someone to go and give myself away and say that to anybody. I've never said that in my life. So, but if that's what you remember, I accept that, but it's not, it doesn't sound like me to people that would know me. <laughs> Should we all? Just, oh, you definitely seem like a mean girl, 1,000% girl. I think you said those exact words, but come on. Example, that sound like five months into Joe Biden's president, Joe Biden's on the cover. Kamala Harris is on the cover before she's even sworn in. Mm. Hillary Clinton was on the cover when she was first lady. Michelle was on the cover three times. Yet, with your business background and your fashion background and your beauty, never on the cover of Vogue. Why the double standard? They're biased. It's, it's my Pia Carver. I'm like, my Pia Carver, I don't give a they have likes and dislikes and it's so obvious and i think american Not people and uh, everyone <laughs> was, this really, was this really their their headline millennia trap clocks vogue it was their decision and i have much more important things to do and I did in the White House than being on the cover of a I'm just scoot on over and let you whack him. Get him again. Get him for me. That experience between you and I was one of the most difficult times in my entire life. Life. In my entire life. I walk in the room and I see you. I'm like, that's my heart starts beating faster. I go back to the 17 year old girl that I used to be when this powerful, strong icon woman that I looked up to was terrorizing me. You won't get it! What do you think the government should be doing about the foot and mouth epidemic? We don't know anything about that. All we know is we just got here. Is there any virus that's decimating the nation's livestock? Like those were not normal responses. Just their body language, their eyes. <laughs> they just seemed like they was on, on something. I said it was hard drugs, but maybe they was high of weed or something. I don't know. But um, yes, hot mess. I mean, I've seen some of these clips. Obviously, they play them on all the damn compilations. But some of these I've never seen. Tyra, <laughs> Tyra was really fishing for some sympathy with that episode, child. Like, girl, girl. Happened 30 years ago. Let it go. You brought this lady on your show to be like, you bullied me when I was 17. It's like, girl, we know she ain't shit. <laughs> we know she a mean girl. Like, okay. Well, how we gonna move forward from this? Like, girl. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.